Hi, teacher tribe. Welcome back. <sighs> so, my name is Allison Jones. For those who are new, for those who are returning, thank you for being part of the teacher tribe. <laughs> my mind is going like, uh, anywho. Um, today is March 22nd. It is Tuesday, and it is the first day of fourth quarter. Yesterday was a teacher's planning day. So nothing was recorded because I was too busy grading, planning out for this quarter, or should I say this new unit that we have starting Thursday. And it was, it was busy, productive, but busy. Today, I had four kids out. I guess they didn't get the memo. The school came back in session today. I don't know. One of the kiddos are still out of town. He's not coming back till Thursday. Mind you, he was out before spring break. Grades close on Thursday. So whatever work he's missing, his window is literally down to that day. I warned mom. She said they get back in town tomorrow. So he's not coming back to school till Thursday. I said, okay, well, just so you know, X, Y, and Z. And she said, okay. I said, okay. <laughs> I warned you. So if he doesn't get any, whatever he doesn't get finished, that's due for grades it's gonna be a zero so hey you can only do so much um yeah i had four kids out and then i had a one leave and we already did two assignments today that are starting off fourth quarter so and the only reason why we're doing that is because today and tomorrow finish unit seven which we did most of in third quarter. So we were two days shy of finishing the unit before the quarter finished. So today was day five. So we did our poem today and we did our vocab test today and then tomorrow's their unit test. So tomorrow's also gonna be a grade. Their unit test is here, ready to go. But because it's a unit test day, that means tomorrow's gonna be te technically light because all they're gonna do is their unit test during um, reading tomorrow. So let's see how that goes. Um, today, though, ultimately was a pretty decent day. Um, I got two, or I should I say I was, I was gifted to recycle old, um, beanbag chairs. They're in decent shape. I'm going to use it as like maybe my VIP kid can sit in the beanbag chairs. One of them had a slight hole in it. And since I don't know how to sew, my handy dandy stapler staple that bad boy up. And hopefully, I think it's going to hold. I just have to make sure whoever uses it, you know, they don't jump around. They just sit down and read or whatever it is that they're going to be doing. But there's nothing really special to inform you about today, just other than what we did and the fact that the test is tomorrow. We went back to the library today, so they got new books to check out because they couldn't have any books over spring break. Um, yeah. That's it, teacher tribe. So I um, guess I have to wrap it up. I don't have anything else to tell you guys, at least for today. You know, short weeks, people can act a little crazy sometimes. So I'll update you and let you know what happens tomorrow. All right, teacher tribe, bye. Hi, teacher tribe, happy hump day. Uh, I'm, if I haven't already told you, I love short weeks because it makes the week go by so quickly. So. Today is Wednesday, March 23rd, and it is dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So believe it or not, it is not even four and I'm about to leave here. So I just got out of a meeting and figured, why not just leave? Nothing for me to do. So today they took their unit seven test and on my way out, I'm gonna scan their scantrons, then my mind just went blank. I'm gonna scan their scantrons. I already have their magazines for unit eight. So unit eight is about wind and water. So um, from what I've been noticing, all of our units have been related to science or social studies, which would be awesome if our content was aligned with what we're reading. But Hey, it's our first year using this. Hopefully next year the district will pick up on that and make that change for um, next school year. Because funny enough, we did this topic with wind and water changing the earth and erosion. We did that in science earlier on in the year. So, you know, 
you see where I'm trying to connect the dots there? And then what I have noticed though, unit nine is on buyers and sellers. So economics, funny enough, around the time we start that unit, we're going to be doing economics for social studies and content. So I guess maybe that was, I don't know if that was a coincidence or not, but it works. So, hey. So unit eight is ready. Um, we finished up unit seven today. They did their test. We finished our little um, book report flower that's going to go in the hallway. I do not have any to show you yet. Maybe tomorrow when I have them turn it in, I'll have those to show you in tomorrow's video. Um, my gosh, I feel like I have less and less to tell you guys. Um, for their unit test on Friday, I just, well, we've been had these, but I just had them cut out. So they're, it's to have them practice filling out a number grid because they're going to have their first number grid on their unit test for math when dealing with fractions. They're going to be introduced to it on Friday. So now it's been laminated. I just finally cut them out. Haven't figured out if I'm going to tape them to their desk, like on the other corner for where their centers are. Or I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet. But these are laminated, like I said. So, you know, their dry erase marker should be well enough for them to use it. And yeah, tomorrow we start unit eight. We have our review for math. We, um, the essay that they're doing for unit eight is another expository essay, but they have research components to the expository essay. So they have to, there's a question that they have to come up with or do related to the topic. And then they have to research information for their essay. So this shall be interesting. Tomorrow we're going over the mentor text, which I always pretend is my essay. And we go over it and I break it apart and show them how I put the essay together. So we're pretty much dissecting an essay to show them what their essay should look like. And then we kind of release them to try and do their research and form an essay similar to the mentor text, my essay. So that would be fun. These first, the first week is more of dissecting and figuring it out. Once they understand it, then they have to put it into effect for their own writing. So this is going to be an interesting unit when it comes to their essay. But yeah, that's all I have to tell you guys. So nice, short, and sweet. So I'll see you all tomorrow for Friday Eve already. All right, Teacher Tribe. Bye. Hi, Teacher Tribe. Happy Thursday. It is Friday Eve, and it's dismissal time. Remember to take a breath. So today was March 24th and it was a fairly decent day. So my two missing kids who have been gone since before spring break returned today. And I'm not gonna lie, I stressed them out today because I needed to submit grades. And honestly, their grades were holding up me closing out the grade book. I did not wanna give them a zero for those empty spaces. So I stressed them out. I already put what needed to go into the system on their desk. So the moment they walked in, hey, I need you to do those two papers on your desk. Remember what we started before you left? I need you to finish that now. I need it to put in the grade book. I was on top of them. But on the plus side, they got it all done. I was able to close grades earlier this morning so I could breathe. So everything is in, comments are in. My grade book for quarter three is officially closed and now we can focus on the last quarter of second grade this school year. Um, I have a project which I need to find the link to um, so I can attach it for you. So we're gonna do this right before Easter. It is a little bunny writing project. And then it comes with all the pieces. It's one piece of paper or one paper for each piece. So the copy the ears, I'm not gonna copy it on construction paper. I'm just gonna let the kiddos copy it on regular paper, especially since I'm gonna do it for the team. So we're about to do this. So you have the ears, you have the body where they do their running, their running, their writing. You have the head and all the pieces. So each piece is one paper. That's the only downfall. Um, because everything, the bunny's kind of big when you put all the pieces together. So it's a lot of pieces. I want to say one, two, there's about six pieces for the whole bunny to come together. So... It's super cute though. We're gonna do it. The team agreed to do it right before Easter. 
So we're going to plug that in that Thursday because Good Friday we have off. So we're about to go and make copies for this for the team. Tomorrow is day two of the unit, which we started today. And so we have our normal day two activity for phonics, the interactive text. And then for writing, we dissected today our mentor text and we're going to dig a little bit deeper of dissecting the text tomorrow. Um, and then on, tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow during math, they're gonna take their unit test um, for fractions. So everything is coming along, everything is going well. Um, again, I know I'm not doing this yet, but because I already found this, I will put the description, put the link to this in the description box below, and I'll put it again when we get closer to doing it. So after everything is copied and we're getting ready to do this in April in the next three weeks or so, then I will also put that description box in that video. That's it for today. I'm going to talk with you all tomorrow for Fun Friday. Bye, Teacher Chive. Hi, Teacher Chive. Happy Fun Friday. Woo! Happy dismissal time. It is Friday, March 25th. Remember to take a breath. Today was fun and we honestly didn't get a lot of work done and I purposely planned it that way because we haven't had a fun Friday in a while. Um, my mind just went blank. I hate when that happens. So it's this morning, we didn't have a lot to do with reading. We just had to identify text features in the story that we read. So for phonics, I let them do two or three cahoots on irregular plural nouns because it's something we've done before. So it was more of a refresher. Most of them did decent. They didn't get their goal of getting 90% in the 90 percentile of getting it correct. Funny enough, they were in the 60s and 70s. For something that's supposed to be a review, but hey, they didn't do too bad. We did that this morning. We did the interactive text and then we identified the text features for the story we're reading, which is on tornadoes. Then after resource, which today was PE, we came back and we continued dissecting the mentor text for writing. And then they decided to pick what topic they're going to do for their research paper. So we did that. After that, we went to recess, we went to lunch, and we came back. We did a few go noodles to get ready, you know, loosey goosey, get ready for our math um, unit test. And they did pretty decent on it. And then after they submitted the test, I went over the test with, well, after they gave me the test, I went over the test with them. And then we had some time left over, gave them their computers, let them do what they, they need to do. That was that. So it was fun. Um, when I gave them their computer, some of them went on Prodigy, some of them went on Class Dojo and customized their little monsters, and it was a good day. And then of course we ended the day by taking our pictures and we started singing, we don't talk about Bruno. So I'll snap, add that little snippet um, right here. No, All right, so that was our little end of the day down, I don't wanna say downgrade or what do you call it? Like the cool down, I guess you can say, getting ready for the weekend. So we had a little sing along, took our pictures and then we were out. So that's it for this week. I hope you loved my video this week. I didn't have much to tell you this week, but it's okay. It was a very basic, simple week. So go ahead and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you want me to show more of down in the comment box. Down in the comment section, not the comment box. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you all next week. Bye, teacher tribe.